passion. It's a word used extremely often, but not always with the right intent. With me, it had to do with sports on TV, not watching TV, but being the voice behind the mic. You have probably remember them, any of them, maybe even the soccer ones. Does this sound familiar to you? Goal. And that goes on for about 15 more seconds. Glad you know where I'm coming from. Obviously, on TV, I watched a great amount of soccer. But when I was watching, the actual soccer part was an afterthought. What really jumped out at me were the commentators. The commentators on TV were the aspect that enthralled me the most. I was fascinated in the way they spoke about the game so fluently. They made the game simpler to understand, and that was something I was interested by. I wanted to be them, the ones who maybe overlook, but make the calls or report the games. And that was something I was interested by. And that one interest I had was a passion discovered at a young age. And I knew that I would spend my life fulfilling it. The fulfillment of my passion would make me, me. I always had thoughts, here and there, that this is what I loved. But what reinforced the idea was the famous announcing call of Ian Dark in the 2010 World Cup, USA versus Algeria. Now I want you to just listen to the sound and the manner in which a simple call is made into an emotional masterpiece. And he claims it. Distribution. Brilliant. Landon Donovan. I think on here for the USA. Can they do it here? Cross. And Dempsey's denied again. And Donovan has scored. Oh, can you believe this? Go, go, USA. Sadly through. Oh, it's incredible. You could not write a script like this. If this doesn't spell inspiration inside of your mind, then nothing ever will. This was the call that ultimately inspired me to join this field because I wanted to learn how to replicate the emotion instilled in the hearts of all Americans that one suspenseful night through one seemingly simple commentary. This field, this reporting of the game, was my passion and it gave me a direction. In my short but extremely fulfilling 13 year life thus far, I have utilized at least half of my time attending school. School is a necessity in life for every child but does not extend as far as being the only thing of importance in one's life. That is found by something internal, that one thing that is loved so deeply that it stays with one forever. And it's called a passion. It can be difficult to find, may take one a whole lifetime to discover, but is always present in the soul and spiritual being of any human. My passion is journalism, journalism of any kind, informing the people of what they want to know. When I found film and TV class as an elective offered at Benjamin, I took it and saw it as the perfect way to fulfill my dreams of being a soccer announcer or journalist because it introduces basic concepts of being behind the camera and delivering a message. Step one, make a movie. All right, simple, wrong, totally wrong. Actors have to know how to stand, where to go, what to say, how to say it, and when to say it. My voice had to always be delivered in the way the director preferred. So the first movie didn't go as planned. Well, neither did the most significant and crucial part of any course, knowing the material and its history, inside and out. I flunked the test on film history, and naturally the thoughts circulating in my mind were, I'm no good at this, I should just quit. Nonetheless, it remained to be my favorite class, and I remained to possess the belief that this was the place for me. And I believe this smack in the face helped me work harder because as the saying goes, sometimes you have to get knocked down lower than you ha have ever been to stand up taller than you ever were. Every day, going into class, I was searching for new ways to improve, new information to be learned. And finally, we reached the most pivotal aspect of reporting, which is writing. I wrote a screenplay, which wasn't as good as it could have been, but every mistake was a step taken on the ladder of success. Whenever I get the chance, I'm reading articles on ESPN or watching the news, studying how to collect information and use it to deliver a message. When I wasn't trying to make this passion a reality, I felt purposeless. This feeling is something I hate because I constantly want to feel a part of something bigger than myself, whether it be a school, a team, or a goal. A Stanford University study showed that people who cannot find happiness affect people around them by elevating their blood pressure. I'm no doctor, but it sounds beneficial to me to surround myself with people who are happy. A passion equals happiness for me. The fulfillment of my passion molded my life. 
especially since I found what completed me and surrounded myself with people and activities that support my cause. I'd rather be around honeybees that pollinate my inner flower, not termites quickly biting down my bark. People who don't occupy themselves with activities that suit them tend to be at a loss, especially mentally, because they wake up every morning wondering what to do, what exit to take on the highway of life. And this is because they don't feel part of something bigger than themselves, a passion. When one finds a passion, that is the real value because it guides them to greater aspects of life, greater aspects of that love, which essentially allows them to possess a purpose. It could be a job because as the saying goes, it's not work if you love what you do. And a job follows you until the end of your life. So choose wisely. Once a passion is found, everything in life will probably revolve around that one passion. And by pure logic, everything in life or life itself will be loved. The will to live is strengthened and extremely reinforced when a passion is found. So I tell you today a message that could easily be summed up as, do something with your life. But I decided to give a spiel about it instead. Thank you.